Okay guys, in this video we will be building a new application. We'll be using Amazon Cloud AWS for that. And also we will use CDK to build this application. So CDK stands for AWS Cloud Deployment Kit. It brings some benefits of being able to use code as an infrastructure. There is a nice presentation by Werner Vogels. I watched it before, so I recommended it before going anywhere. So let's go and define what we want to build first. So this is my diagram, ipidiagrams.net I use for, for this. That's my usual tool to describe things. Let's go to, let's say, email. So what we're going to build is the following. We want something to be run on AWS in uh, VPC, uh, which is stands for Virtual Private Cloud Amazon. So whatever we build, we'll be living in, in some subnet, uh, some network. So this is will be uh, VPC. Can just to define that this is VPC. Let's say. So let's say this is VPC. This is the the borders of of it, and there will be some objects. Let's say inside services. So what we're gonna build? It will be an application. I think it will be Java, just to make it simple. Well, some may argue that Java is not simple, but in this case, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It just it could be any app. And this Java application will be run inside of the container. Okay, so that's and this is to up, yeah, to front, to front. This be will be a container. Mm -hmm. And this object it will be actually the Nama DB. Also, we can use these icons. So let's say it's a database, database, database in the cloud, right? So this database is serverless database. Also, in terms of, I said that this app will be running in the container. What I mean by container here is we're not going to use Kubernetes, but we may use Docker just to make it run in the container. And we will use AWS container, container service. I'll just type it like that intentionally just to show you what Google will give me. In our case, we will use AWS ECS, which stands for Amazon Elastic Container Service. And we will use it along with, along with AWS Fargate this one okay so aws fargate will be managing our containers container infrastructure and this is uh, in a way is a simple way to start with containerized applications arguably instead of going with kubernetes so that's what we will choose so then let me just define it here the whole thing will be run by uh, AWS Fargate and ECS. Let me just type it here. ECS containers, right? And Fargate. I'll just put this all these diagrams uh, here so we know what we're dealing with, right? AWS uh, Fargate and this is ECN, containerized app. This application will be talking to database, which in our case is the number DB. Then we will use AWS, we'll use AWS CDK on our client side, let's say. So we are as a user, as a person, here are, here are, this is we. So we will be using this AWS CDK to build our project, right, with it. And the project will be something like a TypeScript uh, code, actually. So initially there will, will, we will not have any Java or anything. It will be TypeScript code that we will produce with this CDK and when we eventually when this project is built we will use it to deploy to deploy this infrastructure so as a result of this deploy the infrastructure will be built with pn with certain virtual private cloud network with ecn configurations aws fargate we will define the application itself but it's gonna be a language agnostic this level we'll just define that okay there is certain app a java app that talks to database Right. And that's it. So when we deploy, we will able to to see what's going on. Maybe, you know, maybe we will define some really simple Hello World app for Java to be able to test it maybe by some REST call. It's going to be something like that. Okay. So that's what we're going to build. And this kind of infrastructure, why it might be useful for you to consider, this is a base point where you want to go and, let's say, transfer your existing application that you might have on-premise, like your old app, right? And you want to move this old app to be there, right? To be run in the cloud. This is your app Java old one so this is one of the strategy to build this stuff Let, let's say we create some kind of template with minimal functionality of the new app that we will be transferring 
to, to the cloud and at some point every time when this client calls this new app right we might have uh, defined some kind of but more like adapters that that will call back yeah let's say it this way so it will be call the old app and fetch functionality out of it so the new app which is almost empty and it'll just transfer calls to the old app will make our client think that everything is already transferred to the new cloud and we might decide let's say to move functionality one by one from old app to the new app until this disappeared completely or we can just move this up put this up in the container depending on our strategy right and just put it inside and replace this just put this old app uh, to be run in container as is it depends all right it depends but it's quite often that because this app is old we not necessarily want to move it as is to existing one we might want to build a new one start building new one with the new um, patterns or with new approaches with new configurations you know with new functionalities but this app will be calling still the old one on premises and we can move it one by one whenever we have time one functionality after another so my point is that this is one of the way to create a new infrastructure in cloud based on your existing one right so it's like a strategy strategy to go to cloud let's say let's put it like with simple words right okay and there will be our description whatever this is about right now we're trying to be as generic as possible okay so that's what we're going to build and of course, we will use ChatGPT for that because huh, there is no icon yet. Yeah, there is no icon yet for ChatGPT. So we will use ChatGPT to help us to build the project. And I did it just before that. Look what I asked. I said, you know what? Build a CDK deployment script with a Java application run in ECS and the NamoDB talks to all runs in VPS, right? Virtual Private Cloud. And there is an example. Here's an example of AWS CDK deployment script in TypeScript that deploys Java application running in uh, Amazon ECS that communicate with the DynamoDB table within the VPC. So as you can see, we haven't mentioned here anything about Fargate, but by default, it will use it. I'll show it to you. So look, uh, it imports everything, all this DynamoDB, Elastic, Elastic Cloud database, Elastic Cloud balancing version 2, ECS, ECS2, like all these libraries. It creates VPC. It's created, creating this new cluster. As you can see, everything, all this configuration is actually a code. So configuration is a code, which is good. So here it uses uh, Fargate, defining the task definition. It's putting this memory limits, all that stuff. So we will just copy it uh, and paste it to our application. Okay. And that's what I did before. Also, I'll show it to you. So I just created this little TypeScript deployment TS file and just copy paste everything as is. As next step, I did this. I had to install a CDK. So I did this npm install AWS CDK library. I just Googled it here, like what has to be done to, to run it. And I just followed this because I'm going to use TypeScript. By the way, I tried to use some other languages like Java for this, but the TypeScript seems like a native language for that and it provides better support. Once I installed this AWS CDK library, everything resolved and I got uh, all this configuration ready for me to use. I'm not saying that this is perfect configuration, but at least it's a good start and we can start from there building our app. Okay, so on the next videos, I'll show you the next step how to edit this and deploy. So we'll try to deploy it as soon as possible to make it work for us and then do some other improvements, whatever it comes to mind. Going to prod fast is the important factor here in this uh, series of videos. Okay. Okay, hope it makes sense and see you in the next video. Thanks.